few ice creams and chocolates, and certainly if my children were there, they'd be demanding a prize. But very good behaviour and patience and perseverance, they certainly deserve it. Well, they've had a good time. I was mentioning 10 years ago, back in 2001, that's when uh, William and Catherine first met, and St Andrews, of course, is the place that's now known, not just as the home of golf, but where it brought the Royal Couple together. And Edith is there for us today. I wonder how it's gone there, Edith. I am indeed with a lovely bunch of people who, like me, all a little bit emotional after that service. You're, of course, now waiting for the reception to kick off here, and also which is waiting at Buckingham Palace. So we thought we'd try and get into the, uh, you know, celebratory mood by uh, speaking to these guys. Stuart and Craig from the Fairmont Hotel now. Um, William used to come and use the gym at the hotel, I believe. That's right, Edith. Yes, he was uh, a spa member, our signature spa, yeah. and uh, he used to come up, relax in the uh, in the spa, and also uh, complete his workouts, and then uh, relax in the atrium. And a little bit of a non-alcoholic cocktail uh, was his favourite, I believe. Yes, that's right. Yeah, after he'd done his workout in the gym, he used to relax in the atrium and have our uh, it's a non-alcoholic fruit cocktail, uh, right. which we've rebranded as the the royal winning fruit cocktail for for today. Perfect. Would you mind mixing me one up while I nip across here and chat to a couple of lovely people? Uh, Doctor Warren, we chatted to you earlier, but I'm joined by Louise, the the principal and vice chancellor of St Andrews University. How do you feel after watching that ceremony? Oh, one can only feel proud and delighted. It's a wonderful occasion. And uh, and they were here quite recently as well, weren't they, as a couple on one of their first official duties? Yes, they were here to help us launch the celebrations of our 600th anniversary. That was very exciting. And Prince William announced that he was going to be patron of our campaign. So we're delighted by that. Charles, you mentioned to me earlier that he, he said when they came back, it was a bit like coming home. Yes, he did, which was wonderful to hear um, that this place is special for them and that they, they take every opportunity to come back when they can. And you had the chance to, to spend time with them on official duties, but then also behind closed doors. W what are they like? Oh, they're the most natural people in the world, very down to earth, um, chatted on very happily. Uh, they're a delightful couple. Well, listen, it's only the start of a great day of celebrations. Have yourself a fabulous day. And it must be a great thing for, for the university as well. Oh, it's a terrific thing for the university. To have educated both the future king and queen is something we will always, always have and be proud of. Well, have a great day. Um, OK, here we go. Now, oh, this looks brilliant. Uh, tell me what's in it, first of all, please, Greg. What we have here, either we've got uh, fresh passion fruit, we've got fresh lime juice. It's all for me, I love it. We've got some raspberries, a little bit of crushed pineapple, orange juice base, shaken up over ice. Beautiful. We're all going to just have a sip. If we all want a drink, we all just have a tiny sip, but that's okay. I'm going to try this one. Oh, it's lovely. Hands up who wants some. Yeah, I thought you might. Back to you in London. Edith, a bit of self-discipline, I think it's called for. A bit, um, bit of controlling yourself. Um, so, good to talk to you and nice to see everyone in St Andrews. Lovely sunny day there and the sun on the Mall now too. And there we are, have the surge. The surge of people along the Mall being led down at a pretty sedate pace by the Metropolitan Police uh, in good time for that balcony appearance, which I think will be taking place in about half an hour's time. It, it may be a little earlier than that. So, so stay with us because that will be one of the most powerful images, if not the most powerful image of the day, when the newly married couple appear on that balcony and maybe even share a kiss. Let's see what happens. What I do want to say is that I'm very, very grateful to all of you who've emailed us. I can't keep up with them, actually, because we had so many. But the real sense of an international community um, and a global audience is underlined by some of these emails. And I'm just going to select a few for you, and they'll take us all over the world. I'm going to start in Australia. So let's have a look at uh, the Australian image I've been sent. The Scrivener family, Nikki, saying they enjoyed a wedding party, family and friends at home in Perth in Australia. So thanks to them for letting us know they had a good time. Austria next. Krista Mustler harrison decorated her home. Well, look at that. I mean, that's quite a decoration. Um, with a giant-sized union flag, sitting down to watch the wedding on TV with a cup of English tea in Austria. Well, thanks very much to Krista for that. Canada. Lots of royal mania in Canada. Uh, Pippa Ward saying, our London-based cabin crew staying over in Vancouver during the wedding. We're up at 2 o'clock in the morning, Canada time, to watch the wedding, celebrated in our best pyjamas, accompanied by flags and balloons. So our warmest congratulations to them on having a good party and getting up at that unearthly hour. China, well, here's an interesting one. I'm interested in this one. This is the British International School. Alison McLeod, more than a 1,000 students, staff, local dignitaries attended a party at the British International School in Shanghai 
at the Pudong campus to celebrate the royal wedding. Watching on the BBC, I take it. And uh, really good to have that. St Helena, let's go to the other side of the world. Pilling Primary School. Um, Elaine Benjamin telling us, um, on the tiny island St Helena, South Atlantic, children of uh, Pilling Primary School parading through Jamestown to celebrate their enthusiasm and their heartfelt uh, joy for the royal couple. Elaine, thank you so much for getting in touch. I'm going to do just another two. Thailand, uh, George Spurs in Thailand, putting on his England football shirt. I'll forgive him for that just for today. It should be a Will shirt, obviously. Uh, a St George-inspired wig, street party in Thailand where you could fly the flag. So, George, well done to you. And uh, a last one, Vietnam. I'm trying to pick some of the more unusual ones. Uh, two expats there, Christopher Cribb, Stephen Haynes, um, celebrating the royal wedding in a bit of style, local custom there uh, in Da Nang City, central province, Vietnam. Uh, picture taken outside their office um, en route to meetings for the day. I hope there wasn't too much work at those meetings. So, Christopher, Stephen, thank you very much. Just a selection there of the emails we've had from uh, all parts of the world, really, and uh, really grateful to you, and it's nice to know that you've been enjoying the coverage. The enjoyment, of course, isn't over, because now we get a real sense of the size and strength and depth of the crowd. They're well along the mile now, probably halfway down. Very difficult to judge from the other side, because it's such a long route but roughly halfway, and there again with the flags telling you something about the mix of nations involved. The Scottish saltire, very, very clear there. We've seen the Welsh dragon, we've seen Japanese flags, Canadian flags, flag of St George, all of it adding to the rich mix of the day. So as we wait for the balcony appearance, well, oh, Spare a thought for those people in Bucklebreen, West Berkshire, because, well, quite a lot of them were in the Abbey today enjoying the service, but quite a lot of them weren't, and they're having a serious party there. Alex Jones is there with them. Well, here, there was nobody... Now, the service was very emotional, wasn't it, ladies? It was amazing! Day for Catherine and Wills, but a very important day also for Holly here. Why, Holly? Well, I've gathered all of my very best friends because it's my hen weekend this weekend. <laughs> very nice. Now, did you gather any tips from Catherine and William? Well, I think I'm going to do my own makeup in the style of Kate. Uh, I've got all my dresses, I've got my dress and bridesmaids' dresses already, so maybe we'll attach a little bit of lace to them. Oh, I, I think so. And what did we think of Kate's dress, Catherine? I thought it was beautiful, really beautiful. Very kind of understated, but very, very elegant. And, and nice, it, she just looked amazing. Yeah, really. and Carol Middleton also looking lovely. Oh, yeah, really, really stunning. And a big cheer from everyone here when she yeah. came on the screen. How proud are we of Kate? Yeah! Very proud. A great day here and as well Francesca over here has taken her first step. Yeah! <laughs> we'll see you later on. Great sense of fun. Alex, thank you very much. Let's build up a little sense of the reaction because it's nice to talk to people, get their responses, get their impressions of what they've seen uh, during the course of the day. Um, Let's go to the Mall once again. There we have we the go. surge of people I was talking about. But our man Chris Hollins is still there talking to people as they make their way. And let's see if we can talk to Chris once again. Yes, you certainly can, Hugh. We're safely behind the barriers. We're just, as you can probably see in the distance, the crowd is very slowly, very controlled fashion, making their way up to Buckingham Palace, led by what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven horses there. Um, it reminds you of a little bit like the uh, Open Golf Championship when everyone wants to get to the uh, 18th green. But you can see just an absolute sea of Union Jacks waving furiously as the all of the supporters just want to make their way to the Buckingham Palace to see that kiss between the uh, uh, newlywed couple. It's an exciting atmosphere. You can probably see just behind me on my left hand uh, side here. Everybody seems to have moved on now uh, from uh, their positions where they camped overnight and have joined that big crowd uh, as probably as far as you can see. Whole line of policemen uh, controlling uh, what I could say is a very well-natured, uh, well-behaved crowd that have thoroughly enjoyed themselves uh, so far today. So uh, you see 
You can probably just see the horses making their way past me. And uh, as I say, a controlled pace as they make their way to Buckingham Palace. Chris, thanks very much. Someone mentioning the possibility of half a million people around the palace. But look, look at Hyde Park. 300,000 people there. And they're always enjoying the sights on the big screens. So it's good to see them again, and it's good to see so many of them still there to enjoy this balcony appearance, which we're expecting in about 25 minutes, and the fly past. Matt Allwright is there for us. Matt Allwright is there for us. Oh, yes, it's, it's not all controlled here at all, Hugh. It's, the party has well and truly started. It's, it's rowdy, but good-natured, we're glad to say. Now, with us, uh, we have Graham and Joyce. Where are you guys from? Stoke-on-Trent. From Stoke-on-Trent, from the yes. Pottery, is yes. that right? right. Yes. Oh, wonderful yes. part yes. of the world. Yes. Uh, and you, Graham, you, decide, you describe yourself as a royalist, totally unabashed. I am, yes. Why yes. is yeah. that? Well, I think they do the world of good for the country, and I, I, I appreciate all the family, and they're such marvellous people. What was and the uh, moment for you today, when, well, you, when you really the felt The moment moved? That, uh, I was upset when the Queen came out, as soon as she appeared out in the yellow outfit, and that's when I started to Blab. fill up. Really? And, that's what and I is do, that yeah. why you're yes. wearing the glasses? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Is, so no one can tell. That's right. Well, luckily, yes. your, yes. your yes. secret is safe with, safe with us. Now, George, you got a little bit upset during the national anthem. Tell us what happened. Well, it wasn't particularly the national anthem. It was yes, when and the queen when the queen was uh, coming out of Buckingham Palace, and we all stood up. I was waving my flag, and some of them weren't standing up. Right. So I said to my daughter, they're not standing. She said, not everybody will stand up, Mum. So I turned round and I go, Glit, oh, stand up. Right. So they all stood up and we got all, all of us were standing up. Right, so all you've together. got it, guys. From now on, National Anthem, you stand, stand up. Stand up, like Graham. Right. Yes, like Joyce like says Graham so. Yes. And we can yes. start with that right now. Yes. Graham and Joyce, right. sing us out of this little section. Away you go. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen. On your feet, come on, queen. Joyce said so. God save our Queen. Back to you in the studio. Well done. Seems a shame to lose them, but they're in fine.